Hey there, today I want to speak about WebEx Assistance. If you're using WebEx Meetings, WebEx Assistance is a very cool add-on in order to make your meetings more effective. Be in contact with your Cisco representative to understand what licenses you need for WebEx Assistance. So I'm going to show it to you by starting a meeting, my personal meeting room. WebEx Assistant is enabled to save audio highlights. At the left hand side, you'll see the icon of WebEx Assistant. Right now, WebEx Assistant is on. And how do I know that? I can see my captions and highlights. It takes a few seconds before the captions come up. Captions essentially is all the uh, transcripts that take place within WebEx Assistant. Highlights are voice commands that uh, you can command to do certain actions. In order to see what list of voice commands you can do, just press on the link it will redirect you to a list of voice commands. Now I'm going to try a few and um, show them to you. So going back to captions, you can see already a list of transcript that took place. Now let me try to um, use the magic word to essentially wake up the WebEx assistants. So the magic works are OK WebEx. OK WebEx, as you can see, WebEx is listening. You have to follow that by commands. So let me try again. OK WebEx, create an action item to review the slide deck. OK, action item added. As you can see, the action item has been added. I can go to highlights and the action item will appear. As you see the action item has appeared within your highlights. Now another example of that is OK WebEx creates a decision to move ahead with the latest proposal. OK decision created. In this case a decision has been created. As you can see the decision has been created to move ahead with the latest proposal. This is also highlighted within your transcript. Uh, then there's some interesting things you can do. OK WebEx, tell a joke. Why did the developer go broke? Because he used up all his cash. That was a very corny joke. So that's within the WebEx meeting, some of the options they can do. Now. What do you do with all of that? So once you finish the meeting, you go into your WebEx portal. In your WebEx portal, you have a list of all the recordings that you did, the meeting and recordings. Now I'm going to go to Meetings, Completed. You set up what dates exactly you want. I essentially want my meetings from middle of the month and you can see if there's been a recording or a transcript or highlights sometimes so in this case I'll follow some with some highlights and so the first thing you see is a review and the review kind of takes the keywords and puts them into this interesting mural on the right hand side you'll have the actual transcript which you can download. You can go to the recording which you can download as well in MP4 mo formats. You can see the attendance, who joined the meeting and for how long and how they joined the meeting. And then you can go to the highlights. So the highlights essentially will give you an overview of all the um, highlights that were taken, what it was, was an action item, a note, um, and you can play it in real time. Okay, WebEx. So you can essentially listen. Create a task for Ruvain. To what exactly was said within the meeting. You can share that uh, as well. You can share a few of them together. Uh, you can delete them. You can add a comment. Essentially, once you share them, you can work to get on a highlight. And um, that's at a higher level, the WebEx assistance.